everybody, welcome back. If you are struggling with the motivation to clean, then this video is for you. Tip one, um, <laughs> find your tribe. Social media is full of like-minded people that love to clean. Um, I am primarily on Instagram at my great house, but two of my favorite accounts are um, Alyssa from House on Elm and Lauren from An Organized Life. Both do a really great job of sharing tips and tricks. They sort of give you an inside view of how they run their homes. Um, and they're both very inspiring. They practice what they preach. But if you are feeling brave, start your own account. I, I will be your first follower. I love to watch people clean. I think it's just a great way to sort of stay motivated, to share what's working. And then if I'm ever having sort of trouble getting myself going, I can usually flip through Instagram or turn on YouTube. And there always is someone that has uploaded a fresh video or a fresh tutorial or a new hack. And uh, it's usually enough to just kind of get me going. If social media is not your thing, then I would suggest checking out an episode of Hoarders on Amazon Prime. Netflix has a show from Marie Kondo that's excellent. Follow an actual cleaning schedule. If you are just starting down your cleaning journey, I would suggest um, checking out my daily five video. I will link it below, but it's basically just a list of like daily things to keep clean. It sort of just helps get you um, set up if you're struggling with where to start. If you are a little more advanced, then I would suggest checking out um, How Jen Does It or FlyLady.net for their zone cleaning schedules. If you're not familiar with zone cleaning, it's um, it's basically breaking your home up into sort of areas and you spend 15 to 20 minute increments getting into like the deeper clean. So for example, in your kitchen, you might start wiping down your baseboards or really like getting into your kitchen cabinets and wiping those out. Just the things that don't typically get done on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a huge fan of zone cleaning. I haven't done it in a while since I had my kids because I just can't. So one day it'll come back. Um, maybe this week, you never know. Uh, tip three is to pick a cleaning methodology. My favorite cleaning methodologies are either the room method or the wave method. I'm also a big fan of the set a timer method. The room by room method is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. I take a laundry basket and I usually will start in my bedroom and I pick everything up that's in my bedroom and I take my laundry basket and I bring it out to the living room and anything that was in my bedroom that belongs in the living room gets rehomed. I just sort of collect things in my basket and then take them around. This is incredibly efficient because you're not um, wasting time sort of going in between rooms. So it just like cuts down on travel time. Just a few bonus tips. I like to set the mood. I like to turn on James Taylor. I like to make myself um, iced tea. Sometimes we'll even put on a podcast. Young House Love has a really great one. There's the Simple Sophisticate. That's also really excellent to sort of listen to. Just things that sort of like get you in the mood to start like getting things um, back together. I always like to keep the end in mind um, at the end of the night I want everything back together I want the kids milk made the next morning I want um, the dishes to be in the process of being cleaned I want to know that the laundry and the dryer is ready to be fluffed um, because I have this picture of myself at night tucked into bed with my tea and my book and everything is done and it's usually that sort of vision that can like keep me going to get everything done so there you have it just a few ways that I stay motivated to clean I hope this was helpful I if, if you have another way and you want to leave it in the comments below I will be glad to sort of share them on my Instagram um, just so that we can all sort of help each other stay motivated